the cost per trial, I thought the numbers on a YY basis look fairly elevated. Now my question is, uh, because of this change in, in the policies, uh, does FY23 as a year have that impact and does FY24 therefore become a more normalized because of a consistent base in FY23? How would that shape up? Yeah, so this is for the Kidopia business. Yes. As you know, the cost of uh, acquisition shot up uh, because of the Apple IDFA and has uh, in the last quarter also increased because we have been doing a lot of experiments uh, with a lot of new sources of customer acquisition to be able to figure out what is the steady state that we can reach over here. The good news is that with the price increase that we did, uh, our LTV or the lifetime value of this customer has also now proportionately increased, which means that uh, we used to operate pre Apple IDFA days on a one is to two basis, you know, for let's say every hundred dollars spent, we would earn two hundred dollars over a 24 months period. We're kind of back to that same equation. And uh, that means that we can again resume stepping uh, onto the accelerator for growth. We may let another quarter go to stabilize things, but we can at least now clearly see a path of resuming growth at uh, Kidopia. The other good news in Kidopia is that while we face these consumer acquisition issues, and it's not been just us, right? It's been the whole industry, not even just uh -huh. the gaming industry, but the whole world in that sense. Uh, the team at Kidopia has really very diligently uh, kept uh, chasing uh, growth uh, in terms of their product offerings so they've invested a lot of time in making the product stronger and rather than getting discouraged by the situation and taking their eye off the product they've actually doubled down on it which means that as we are emerging out of this issue of customer acquisition we already have a much stronger product uh, to take to market uh, so we are very excited about it and, and uh, i would guess today that uh, or i would believe today uh, that FI24 can actually turn out to be a very good year for uh, Kidopia. We are keeping our fingers crossed and also doing everything we can uh, to make sure that happens. Okay, I, I heard you say FI24, right? Which could be a very good year for Kidopia. Yes, because FI23, we've already done one quarter. We let one or two quarters stabilize before we, you know, really yeah. start cleaning up things again, which is why I'm saying FI24. No, understandable. Just one quick follow up there before we move on to the other businesses, Nitish. Yeah. Um, as 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 the joint entity of the mother brand, um, it would be imperative for you to try and understand where the biggest bang for the buck comes in. Now, I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that incremental spending on Kidopia for the time being, you haven't gone out and thought of really increasing that. My question to you is, is this growth that you are hoping for or factoring in either of the words, really, ignore my lingo, but this growth that you are working with for FY24, does it happen organically or do you need to in a normal sense, incrementally spend money on that business in order to get that going? No, sure. So I think we haven't scaled spends beyond a point this year or even last year because uh, we wanted to get a unit metrics right. One thing uh, is very important for us at Nazara is uh, to have discipline on the lifetime value versus cost of uh, customer acquisition. Uh, we don't like to chase vanity metrics. We don't like to show subscriber growth just for the sake of it. We like to do it only when it really makes sense, right? And that's what we've kind of actually walked the talk in the last couple of years uh, facing this Apple IDF issue. Uh, now, going forward, I think uh, since the equation is looking much better for us, the metrics are looking much better and the LTV CAC is very positive, we will surely start scaling up our spends and uh, would like to, you know, if we are able to scale up the spends in a profitable manner, uh, there's no reason why we should not do it.